July was a really strong month for the bond market. Vanex bond ETFs all had positive returns, and this is supported by a range of factors. Firstly, tightening credit spreads, carry cushion, and falling government bond yields out to seven years locally all provided performance tailwinds. The RBA held the cash rate at 4.1% for a second consecutive month. Now, Vanek believe that up to two more rate rises are possible by the end of the year. There's very high rental prices, a very tight labour market, and there's also accelerating wages growth, which are all adding inflationary pressures. On top of that, energy prices in, on the eastern seaboard jumped by approximately 20%, and that hasn't been captured in the latest CPI print. Falling inflation, strong earnings results offshore, and the RBA cash rate pause bolstered the market's outlook on the Australian economy. In terms of the government bond yield movement, we saw yields fall in the short end and on the long end increase, so there's a steepening in the curve. And again, this indicates that the market expects Australia to avoid a recession. Credit spreads tightened locally and globally, and this was supported by falling inflation and better than expected US earnings results. The standout was Australian subordinate debt, where credit spreads tightened by 30 basis points and now yields around 6%.